<clears throat> Old Block for sale. Shalom. This is the brother Barrier from the GMS Virginia camp. Back at it again with another low willing at a fine lesson. Before I get started, like always, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rachacha Kodash. Double honest to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, the men that I learned the truth from. And shallow warm peace and blessings goes out to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, sincerely waiting and enduring until the return of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach to deliver us out of this last captivity. Yeah, man, O Block is for sale. If you don't know what O Block is, well, the video is going to explain it um, a little bit, but um, O Block is basically when you look at Chicago and what they call it, Chirac. In black culture, they call it Chirac. O Block is responsible for the reason this new generation of hip hop is so deadly and so dead set on uh, murdering one another, killing one another. Just this one neighborhood is responsible for hundreds of deaths. I mean, just hundreds and hundreds of people dying, not just in Chicago, but all over the U.S. and all over the world that's imitating this black culture, this nigger culture, just from this neighborhood. Um, if you're familiar with some of the new school rappers like Chief Keith, Little Durk, all right, just straight up rappers that talk about death, they just speak death. Uh, then you you understand that they're from this neighborhood and a lot of rappers that died last year is from this neighborhood. But um, this right here shows you, it's another clear um, sign and just backs up the curses stated in Deuteronomy chapter 28 and it shows how sick and just foolish two thirds of the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are. So I'm just let the video play and um, do some commentary on it. The Parkway Gardens Homes, better known to rap fans as Old Block, is one of the deadliest housing projects in the U.S. and also one of the most famous thanks to the rise of drill music. Back in April, the owner of the property decided to put it up for sale, leading to rumors that famous rappers like Lil Durk and Chief Keef, who grew up in the community. Yeah, drill music is basically music just speaking on murder. All right. It's just speaking on murder. OK, and, dr and drill music has traveled to Canada, it has traveled to Europe. It has become a worldwide phenomenon based off of these teenage young men murdering one another over neighborhoods, man. All right, let's continue. May try to purchase it. Here's Matter of fact, let me get a, let me let me get a, a Genesis the fourth chapter because the first guy to ever make a song or brag about murdering somebody was from the seed of Cain. All right, one of the grandsons of Cain. All right, which is actually the lineage of of you so-called white people, the wicked, whose biblical nationality is Esau, the Edomites. All right. The spirit of that's within you actually goes back to the line of Cain. Um, but this is Genesis chapter four. Verse because nobody's a bigger murderer than the so-called white man. OK, but you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans have adopted these murderous ways. All right. This is Genesis chapter four, verse 23. I'm going to go straight to the point. And Lamech said unto his wives, Adar and Zillah, hear my voice, ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding and a young man to my hurt. So he's bragging about it. Yeah, I put this dude to death. I, sl I slew him. Verse 24. If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold. Yeah, my, you know, my, my, my grandfather, right? If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech, seventy and sevenfold. So he was bragging like, look, you can't touch me because you couldn't touch Cain. So I'm going to continue on my murder streak. And this is what this black culture teaches and this is this block here this neighborhood is a main um a main culprit of what why um you know murder happens throughout this hip-hop nigga culture and even that guy six nine that rapper six nine he would he 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 got famous from going down here and basically trying to make a statement like yeah i'm at old block blah 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 but this video is about the fact that this this neighborhood is for sale. And guess what? You niggas can't buy it. But you know who is gonna buy it? <laughs> so let me let me continue the video. Here's a look at the sale of Old Block and whether or not Dirk and Chief Keith have a chance at buying the infamous housing project. The Parkway Gardens homes were built between 1950 and 1955 on Martin. 
And, and you notice, you notice how they always building these ghettos and these projects on Martin Luther King streets, Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, right? They make it mock real, y'all, man. The man that was supposed to be about peace and turn of the cheek, his streets are the most deadliest in America, man. And this right here that's happening in the old block is happening throughout all throughout ghettos and hoods throughout America as we speak. Outside of Chicago, the massive property spans over 13 acres of land and features 694 affordable housing units. Famous residents who spent time living in old block include Michelle Obama and of course famous rappers like Chief Keef, Lil Durk, and King Von. As gang activity on the south side increased throughout the 2000s and 2010s, Parkway Gardens became the center of one of the most violent areas in the city. It's a stronghold for the Black Disciples, one of the largest gangs in Chicago. It also became famous in the hip-hop community with the rise of Chief Keef and the popularity of drill music. The 6400 block of MLK Drive was nicknamed O Block in 2011 after the killing of a BD member named O.D. Perry. O.D. was allegedly killed in retaliation for the murder of a 15-year-old member of the Gangsta Disciples named Shondell Gregory, better known as Tuka. The killing of both O.D. and Tuka set off a gang war between the BDs and the GDs that has claimed countless lives and still rages on to this day. Check out our previous videos on Chicago drill lyrics that actually happened for more info on this beef. Ironically, the same year that Tuka and O.D. were killed was the same year that Related Midwest, a Chicago-based real estate development firm, purchased the Parkway Gardens houses for $40 million. There's no way that the firm knew what they were getting themselves into when they bought the property. Even though the South Side has always been rough, the war between the BDs and O-Block and the GDs who go by the name Tukaville not only increased the violence in the neighborhood, it also brought national attention to the area through the popularity of the drill movement. So every time there was a murder, shootout, or robbery, it was not only broadcast on the news, it was documented in the music and by fans on the internet, which can't be good for the company's bottom line. Being a low-income housing project, Related Midwest got money from the federal government. And this is also another sign that we're at the end and the Lord has had enough of this black nigga shit, all right? He's still judging y'all, putting y'all to death, all right? At the, at, at y'all own hands, because y'all murdering each other, right? But he, he's showing y'all that it's, it's a, it, this is a rap for this, okay? So ain't gonna be no more old block in your songs, ain't gonna be no more murdering each other over old block, because old block finna be turned to Pleasantville. <laughs> and y'all, you niggas ain't finna be living there. In the form of tax breaks, housing credits, and other incentives, but they still have to pay out of pocket for any repairs and renovations. With all kinds of criminal activity going on in the building, the property constantly needed to be repaired and upgraded. One of the biggest expenses was replacing the elevators that were always breaking, not to mention all windows and walls that had to be repaired and painted after every shooting or robbery. The company put $9.9 .9 million into renovating the project in 2014, but that wasn't enough. The investment became a major headache for related Midwest, and they were stuck in a cycle of either just breaking even or losing money every year. They finally. So the owner of the property just in 2014 alone had to spend almost 10 million just in damages. Now, how many of you niggas that's rapping, or how many of you niggas that's banging over Old Block, that's, that runs Old Block, right? We run Old Block. You come around here, we gonna we gonna we gonna slay you, right? You talking that talk? Lamette was talking, right? How many of y'all? can scramble up 10 million just for the repairs. <clears throat> All right. How many of y'all can scramble? The, the, the most popular rapper from Chicago ain't got 10 million and just pull out his pocket for, for repairs, man. Okay. <sighs> but y'all but run old block, though. He got tired of it. See, what, see what's happening is y'all these projects and these ghettos, y'all have depreciated the value of these areas because of your murderous behavior all right and just wicked acts that you've been doing and guess what now that your enemy can come in and buy it for cheap way cheaper than before and build it into something better that he wants to profit off of and make a huge gain off of it because he bought it way under the pr price of what it was initially worth because you brought y'all y'all niggas brought the property down but y'all don't know anything about that all right y'all just shooting each other just because you know he lives in a different neighborhood than you. <laughs> Put the building up for well, sale. Well, matter of fact, let me let me get the the the, the, the scripture real quick. Let's get um Deuteronomy twenty eighth chapter, and I'm gonna stay here actually. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight, verse fifty four. Uh, it says, so that the man that is tender among you and 
All right, let's let's read it again. So the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. So the love that we used to have for each other as a nation has totally been um, broken down through this captivity over here in America. And O Block is a prime example of that, if not the biggest example. In April 2021, News of the Parkway Gardens houses going up for sale led to fan speculation that some of the famous rappers who grew up in the community might try to purchase it. Lil Durk added fuel to this rumor by subtweeting a post from College Kid about the sale by saying, I'll buy it, don't matter how much. Even though Durk is a successful He said he'll buy it no matter how much, but guess what? Did, is he, did he buy it? Like I said, just in 2014 alone, the repairs was almost 10 million. This guy, this guy net worth ain't even ten million. <laughs> but I mean, you, you, you simple jakes will believe, you know, uh, these rappers, which the, the the person that's selling the property don't have to sell it to you just because you got the money any damn way. But like I said, they don't have the money for that, which goes into the curses, which I'm gonna get. A rapper, it's unlikely that he could realistically purchase the property or would even want to. Dirk may be doing well financially, but there's no way that he has 40 or 50 million dollars sitting around to dump into a property with so many liabilities. Even if he could get a loan, it would take some serious work and cash investment beyond the purchase price to get the building into a condition where he would make money, which would mean putting 70 to 100 million dollars into an investment with no guarantees of making any type of a return. So who has 100 million dollars just to, you know, just to spend on, just to gamble with? Not you Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, all right? Not even you ones as millionaires got a, just got a hundred million dollars just laying there, okay? Just to, just to gamble with. So that shows you who's in power, all right? Who actually controls O Block, and it ain't you so-called Negroes. It's the person that gave it to you, that gave it to you as a project, okay? As a ghetto for you to live in, all right? And make mockery of yourselves. If a company that specializes in real estate development couldn't do it, it's unlikely that Dirk would be able to pull it off, while also touring and maintaining his rap career. But it's understandable why the rapper would want to own the block he grew up on and protect it from being torn down. Even though it would be pretty legendary if the rapper could pull it off, the numbers don't make sense for Dirk to do it all on his own. Especially since the tenants will be friends and family who may feel like he owes them a break. Then he's put in a position of either losing money or evicting his own people from their homes, which is a spot you don't want to be in. If Dirk were really serious about purchasing the property, what he should do is gather a team of other artists like Chief Keef and anyone else with ties to the old block and pull their money. Then, get the help of an experienced real estate developer. Owning and maintaining a property as massive and crime-ridden as old block is a serious job. Flipping houses or buying single-family homes is the kind of real estate investing that anyone can handle if you have the cash and proper training. But owning a property with almost 700 units requires an expert. Especially if Dirk plans to maintain it as a low-income housing project and receive benefits from the government. That requires an understanding of tax codes, government programs, local building laws, and all kinds of other information that's tough to stay on top of, even for those in the real estate business. Which means what? It means you gotta go to who, alright? Because whose laws are these that, it, that this dude just talked about in this video? Alright, you so-called Negroes Latinos and make these... Negroes Latinos and Native Americans ain't make these tax laws, alright? You ain't in control of this real estate through all, all throughout America. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse um, 44. It says, He shall lend, matter of fact, let me start at verse 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. You want a loan, which you ain't, you can't even get a loan that damn big, but, all right? Okay, and even if you could, you still ain't got the money to, yo, know, I'll people under the curses, man. Okay, but you you claim that you run old block and you, you've been murdering people for years because of this neighborhood that you don't even control and you have no stake in. All right, and if you really, and if you did control it and you knew the financial, right, the new, the financial business behind it and that you, you was responsible to keep up, Right, you wouldn't, you sh damn sure wouldn't be trying to um, promote murder throughout the neighborhood. <laughs> You'd be trying to get people to pay their rent on time. But anyways, verse forty-five it says, "Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and, sh and shall pursue thee and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep His commandments and His statutes which He commanded." 
right? His statutes, which he commanded thee. And that's why you niggas have been dying over this war over there in Chicago for no reason whatsoever. All right? Now, one of those deaths uh, uh, has any validity, okay? According to the Most High's law, and really, you ain't supposed to be killing nobody while in the land of your captivity. Okay, there's righteous killings though, but we ain't in the time of uh, executing the law holy right now while we're in captivity. But you guys just murder each other for no reason at all. Okay, because you claim you run O Block. Well, I'm gonna just let this video uh, finish out. <clears throat> When the Department of Buildings inspected the property after being put up for sale, it was discovered that there were over 50 building code violations that included missing window screens, rodent problems, broken elevators, and more. So, purchasing the property would mean addressing these issues. Issues and putting a team in place to take care of maintenance in the future, which also eats into profits. So Dirk may want to think twice before just writing a blank check to purchase O Block by himself. Even though it would be dope to see Dirk and Chief Keefe team up with a local real estate developer and turn O Block into a safer and better maintained building, it doesn't look like they're going to get the chance. Say Cheese TV reported that the building has already been sold. Although the buyer's identity hasn't been revealed, rumors are floating around that O Block residents will be forced to leave and the property will be demolished and gentrified. There you go. There you go. Your enemy came up. Came up and bought it. Right? For a cheaper price for what it initially was bought for. And they finna move you niggas out, right, into a whole worse area, okay? And all you're gonna do is take your wickedness to the to wherever they sh send you off, you know, the next project they send you off to. That's why the Lord has to bring judgment on y'all, okay? Because y'all don't want to hearken to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shemar Washai. Housing prices across the country going up, the buyer will likely replace it with expensive condos or a shopping center that will be more profitable than the building in its current state. That's probably the reason why Dirk wanted to buy the property in the first place, to be sure that all his friends and relatives won't be kicked out of their homes and displaced to other parts of the city. But there's no telling whether a related Midwest would have sold it to Dirk, even if he had the money and professional help. It's a sad day for hip hop in the city of Chicago. Tearing down the projects won't stop the violence going on in the city, it'll only move it around, and it will be interesting to see how the change impacts the war in Chirac. Without the 13 acre fortress as a stronghold, the BDs may have a tough time maintaining their dominance in the area. The dudes from Oblock who are still in the street still have to find a new base of operations. But with so much of the city already claimed by other gangs, this may be tough to do. They'll have to move to areas already controlled by groups they're allied with and start repping other blocks. Nothing is set in stone until the contracts are signed and the money changes hands. So if the deal falls through, there's a slight chance that Dirk or Keith could still get involved in the purchase. But Look man, them dudes in the move to LA, <laughs> they moved out that hood. All right, they didn't they didn't sold they sold to the devil for a piece of breadcrumbs, monopoly money, and they don't give a damn about that neighborhood. They 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 living out their dreams over here in Babylon. All right, but I'm gonna end it with this scripture here, and it just shows you the foolishness of our people. Okay, this is Isaiah uh, chapter one verse three. The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib, but Israel doth not know. My people doth not consider. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers, children that are corruptors, they have forsaken the Lord, they have provoked the Holy One of Israel unto anger, they are going away backward. Why should you be stricken anymore? You will revolt more and more. The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. So, hey, what's left for these people? Just like the Lord told Edris. Judgment. All right, the same should know that the death by pain. So I just wanted to do a video on this situation because um this this news is like only like a month old. So um yeah, I hope it was that fun. I hope it um you know it just shows you hey our people repping these neighborhoods, repping these ghettos that they clearly don't own. Which you t you tell them this and it goes in one end out the other. Why? Because the whole head is sick. So hey, the next time I say shallow wall.